Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going over some problem child GPUs that I have experienced and just want to share with you my findings. There are other GPUs out there that many have spoken about on Reddit in various forms, so make sure to check that out. Um, but um, as you can see with my NVIDIA system, which is represented by XSF2, is that GPU 8 is missing. GPU 8, believe it or not, is the Zotac 3070. And we know that these GPUs in general, especially if you watch other content creators, seem to be uh, very problematic. And I had no issues up until recently um, when I was moving things and I need to figure out what exactly happened Maybe something was shuffled whatever it may be uh, But basically uh, it kept restarting the rig and it said it kept saying, you know GPU 7 which would be number 8 on this list air it out So I would shut it down uh, I swapped out the riser. I swapped out the cable the USB cable. I swapped out the PCIe uh, by one connector and still you can see and that's actually why I want to record this video so it happened uh, the previous day and then uh, it was offline for quite a bit. Basically, I, I switched over to Windows to try to see if maybe Windows would perform better. It did not. And so I came back to Hive and you can see it, it kind of started off really good in the afternoon, disconnected or restarted, do it again, disconnected, but there was no error warnings. Checking the logs, there's no error warnings. There's no GPU died, there's no this or that. A Hive OS wasn't showing anything. Um, and you can see how many times over here it just kept disconnecting or restarting or restarting or restarting. And it became very annoying as I couldn't figure out why. So right now I took off the 3070 completely and I'm testing with the other eight GPUs. There are nine on this particular rig. And you can see it's become more steady. Now I'm gonna let that run for a little bit longer. This is just some testing, something I would recommend doing if you do have a problematic GPU. But the Zotac, 3000 series GPUs are bad. Honestly, uh, I would say the Zotac 1660 series, like the 1660 Super Ti, were actually pretty good GPUs. But everything after that is being downhill. Uh, whether it's poor quality, manufacturing, the fans just going bad so quickly, I don't know what it is. Uh, but you'll see much throughout the community people having issues with the Zotac 3070. So I would steer clear from that. Additionally, not displayed in this particular rig, uh, but was connected previously, was the MSI uh, GTX 3070. I'll try to get a picture up for you. And it's uh, it, it's an LHR card, but it just it caused me nothing but problems. System restarts, it wouldn't perform as high as the other 3060 LHR, or 3060 Ti, excuse me, 3060 Ti LHR cards. Um, and those have been my two problem on the NVIDIA side. I can't say that I really had much of an issue with anything else. Like EVGA is really good. Uh, the Gigabyte cards from the 3080, the 3000 series. Now that is a problem child as well. You're going to run into memory thermal issues unless you modify it like I did. I did a whole series on uh, repairing that, making it better, showing you some results and data and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out if you can. Uh, but yeah, so gigabyte cards on the 3000 series doesn't have sufficient thermal pads and cooling for it. Zotac uh, 3000 series, those GPUs, uh, the fans die. Uh, people have been having nothing but issues where it's to do with memory or core or whatever it is. And then the MSI 3060 Ti. Moving on to AMD, we got a couple things. So first off, gigabyte once again with the 5700 XT very poor quality thermal pads uh you can see it's not getting anywhere near the hash rate it's supposed to be getting obviously things are down tuned because they're uh you know running warm here in florida uh but the gigabyte card has always given me issues like it, it i could drop this memory down to 775 instead of 815 it will still crash some way somehow somewhere uh now they do have thermal pads on the back side of the gigabyte uh pcb connecting to the back plate, but that's not really helping this particular card. It's just a bad card. Maybe it's Silicon Lottery, but I've seen people have a number of issues with the Gigabyte RX 5700 XT. Next one is the ASRock Challenger. People familiar with the channel 
would understand that I basically had to Frankenstein this GPU with a 120 mil fan and a splitter and it's keeping that memory nice and cool now so I'm not having much issues but the stock cooler sucks and then last but not least is power color so the power color 5700 XTs are okay they'll get the job done but they're not going to be able to clock as high as some of the other cars like this is the XFX thick um, you know it could go a little bit higher because the memory is in good condition or around the good thermals power color 6000 series are pretty good but the 6000 series you can you know everything's going to be fine because it's limited right we can't extend the limits of the memory clocks on these gpus so 6000 series honestly if you're concerned about heat where you are would probably be the better gpu to go with uh 5000 series if you try to do the the red bios editor mem mod uh, mem timing uh, update and modify then yeah you're gonna make these cards run a little bit hotter especially in the memory configuration so just be careful as rock gigabyte and then the power color once again I would throw up a picture of those GPUs for you so I just wanted to share my experience with you uh, show this information show how many times the system restarted thanks to the Zotac 3070 uh, the AMD rigs pretty solid uh, the Gigabyte card will sometimes cause a restart, uh, but the Gigabyte card did one last night, but then the Power Color did one shortly thereafter. It actually just completely dropped off. You can see the hash rate dropping from 420 to 371, and that's because of that Power Color card that is currently running at 96 degrees on the memory, which is bad. Uh, remember, 110C is the T-junction, but realistically, you want to stay below 94C uh, is, is the... A good spot to stay not what I would recommend you know 24 365 if you can be below 90s 24 7 365 great uh, but you know when when you're in a hot area that's not always feasible but that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out various links in the description uh, like my referral link to sign up for Hive OS um, if you're at home, mid-scale or large-scale minor, and you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.